Also with us is former Chicago Bulls star Norm Van Leer, who is now a sports commentator. And he says athletes should not be singled out for their bad behavior because society as a whole has this problem. We'll be talking about that. Okay. But you say that these men are not the only ones who are doing this, obviously. Uh, yes, and I might add, that's why you have that uh, long winning streak of playing. <laughs> You're very aggressive also on the court. I can see where you get the energy, my man. But, uh, <laughs> at the same time, I've, uh, I'm from the old school. I was brought up in the 60s, and uh, I, 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 we were taught responsibility. First of all, you had fathers coming after you, and there was no uh, right. situation. I was in fear of doing things, and um, in that way, you had to think a long time about it because uh, you, that meant stopping what you're doing, what you love to do, play basketball, and go to work. Because right. you had to go to work. I know guys got get kicked out of school that had to go to work to support that child. But my point is, and I think it's too much emphasis on sports anyway in this world. I will always agree with that. But there's other reliabilities and responsibilities. <laughs> That. Well, too much yeah. emphasis. It's yeah. one of the biggest money makers there That's is. That's why we have problems with this role model and everything else. Where my role model was my father, my uh -huh. grandmother. Right. My, I didn't look to know at, at any athlete as my role model. My father was my role model. I didn't. I don't know Roberto Clemente, or, or I don't know Pete Rose. At the same time, I hope we can take that energy of those people and have our parents. That's the problem. There's no parents around yeah. that to, to deal with this. But the whole problem that I see with this uh, is that there's other people in this world doing the same thing, but we focus right on the athletes because of the money-making venture. And they, because they, we put them on pedestals as role right. models. Absolutely. But That's right. But does that make who's, them but, good yeah, or bad? Yeah, but who's responsible for that? Whose fault is that? It's the public's fault. Like I said, I hear this call. Man, you can't keep up with the kids of the 90s. Well, you know who made the kids of the 90s is we have. Mm -hmm. We've dulled all the rules. This is trash talking in the NBA. Why do we allow that? Because we put up with it. When I played basketball, if you said two words to an official or an opponent, you were kicked out of the game. Now they trash talk, they taunt, and you wonder why we have fights all the time? Because we allow it to take place. Do we take that same athlete and go make the commercial gang wars and everything else, and we wonder why we have problems. You got a guy to go to college and beats up a woman. But yet still, he's on that NBA team or that NFL team. And you know something? As soon as he gets fired from this job, another team offers him 30 million, then we're going to blame it on the guy and say, whose fault is this? We are our own problem. That's yeah. the problem. We, as grown-ups, allowing these things to take place. Absolutely. Yeah.